Could you please give guidance in the use of omega-3? That's a good question too. Um, trying to get a good balance between omega-3 and omega-6. That's good. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what that means in a minute, how to do that. I now take an omega-3 supplement that's algae-based. I take every day two pills. Is this amount sufficiently appropriate? How do I know it's the right omega three? Well, basically, over the years, um, I really changed my viewpoints on this because now I'm really an advocate of everybody knowing their omega-3 index, getting the blood test and knowing where you score on the omega-3 index. Because so many studies have come out in the last two years showing lower omega-3 index is not only linked to depression, I'm sorry, I said that wrong, that an omega-3 index is not only linked to dementia in later life and shrinkage of the brain, but it's also linked to all-cause mortality. It means all causes of death, increased cancer death from a low omega-3 index too, and increased heart attack deaths from low omega-3. So in other words, you enhance your lifespan by having an adequate omega-3 index. And an adequate omega-3 index is a number greater than five, and an ideal omega-3 index is a number greater than six. And I've changed that in recent years because I used to think better than four was good enough. But now the studies have shown that even I wasn't being, I was being too, I, I, I was I was um, thinking it was good enough and I'm seeing better outcomes when these studies show that better to have your numbers be higher. So you don't know if you're taking the right amount unless you get that omega-3 index. So I suggest people take my DHA EPA purity, my, my algae-based DHA supplement, one dropper a day. And then that gives you about um, 250 milligrams to 230 milligrams of EPA plus DHA. And then I recommend in like three to four months, check your index and see if it's enough. And if it's not enough, take more to see if your number is at least above five. And the reason I said my DPA DHA and not the algae one you're taking, because you said I'm taking a um, take an omega-3 supplement algae-based. You didn't say you're taking your omega-3 supplement. And the reason I'm recommending mine or whatever one you're taking is because ours is refrigerated. We, um, it's, we have it packed in dark glass and we keep it in the refrigerator in our warehouse. So when you order it from us, you're having a refrigerated product that never has seen room temperature. And the advantage of that is when you buy one that's been on some store or warehouse, it could be at room temperature for a year. And it's caused rancid, it could be rancid or have more rancidity scores or rotten. It's the freshness of ours that we have shipped to us, um, you know, shipped to us in the trucks and put right in our refrigerators. And then when, when you get it from us, it's only been out of the refrigerator a few days. Because we know over the years, we've tested them, um, the omega-3 um, products that have been man date of manufacturer to the date of consumption. And over a period of many months, like three months, they start to go rancid six months more rancidity, nine months higher degree of rancidity, you get increasing rancidity of rottenness of the oil, the amount related to the amount of months it stayed at room temperature. So if you're gonna use the bottle we send you, we park it in glass, not in plastic. We don't, we travel with a dropper, not with a capsule. So you can taste it to make sure if you're taking a capsule, you shouldn't be eating the capsule, you should be biting into the omega-3 supplement you're taking and spitting out the capsule or biting into the fish oil and spitting out the capsule. So you can taste the oil anyway, because you want to taste it to make sure it doesn't taste rotten. If it tastes rotten, you should be rancid. If it has any kind of bitter taste to it, you should be throwing it in the garbage. So let's get back to your question again. Okay. I'm trying to get a good balance between omega-3 and omega-6. This, this is what that, that, that means. Because Americans, people in North America and Western Europe, get almost all their fat intake from oil and animal fats. And us nutritarian, nutritarians get our fats from nuts and seeds, not from oil and animal fats. And we're, we're trying to balance the omega-6, omega-3 in the nuts and seeds we're using. So if the recipe calls for cashew nuts or almonds or pecans, you're going to take half the cashews out and half the almonds out and put half hemp seeds in instead. Or you could use walnuts instead, but we use hemp seeds most often because it's because it has very flat taste. It doesn't change the flavor of the dish. But you could take out half of them. You could use walnuts because the omega-3 containing seeds and nuts are walnuts, hemp seeds, chia seeds, and flax seeds. And chia seeds and flax we're using for breakfast. But the creaminess of the hemp seeds, and they're high in protein too, are the ones we use to balance the omega-3 of any nut recipe. So the salad dressing or the dessert or the, or the, the hummus dip you made, if it calls for some nut, 
or a cash, then take out half the cashews and put in half hemp seeds with it. That's how we're balancing the omega-3, omega-6 nuts and seeds we're eating by making sure half of the nuts and seeds we're eating are either walnuts, hemp seeds, flax seeds, or chia seeds, or pumpkin seeds, the higher omega-3 containing nuts and seeds. And then he says, I try to get a good balance. I hope so. I just explained what that meant. And he takes an omega-3 supplement. So the amount you take is not that important. Taking two a day is fine or whatever it is you're wake, taking or one dropper of mine would be fine, but then take it consistently for three to four months and then get the omega-3 index blood test. You, you can get it, your local doctor can sometimes do it. We sell the card at drfirman.com that we send you this card and with a thing that sticks your finger, you put a drop of blood on the card, you send it to the lab, and then they send you back your omega-3 index. You can order that on the in the store on the mem in the store at Dr. Furman. You can go to the store that says um, um, health, you know, something about health, like health products, and you'll see there's a card there, or um, you can buy a blood test reading for the omega-3 index if your local doctor doesn't have the ability to do it at his local laboratory. <laughs>